fairy tales and fanciful stuff. So this one is called Tin Man. <coughs> ah, ah, the melancholy song of the smithy who wrought my inception, pounding the rivets of my shoulders and ankles, gently buffing my cheek and belly to a splendid gloss. Awe and elation mingling like a supple mother sussing her ingenuous parcel of whoops and shrieks. His touch was refined and meticulous, drumming each layer to fanciful proportions. He saw in me what our waking dream of life might be, careful to tilt my funnel cap just so, fixing my jaw in perpetual glee. In some same way as the clockmaker nudges the toothy seal and copper jobs to steady tempo, so did my radiant ticking begin. Sometimes I would help him split trunks into kindling, scoop pockets in the earth to make a bed for turnips or squash. Other times, intricate flakes of late solstice would tickle the gray air, and we would join hands springing and cavorting. Happenstance provides if we are only careful enough to hear the cues, careful enough to resist caution. Father warned me about cloudbursts and thunderclaps, and though they were not scalding salt drops, I had no doubt souls that left our realm were grieving for their loss or the loss of others. I was bringing down a maple when the deluge caught me before I could make it home. Motion slowed to suspension for uncountable days until a small girl with braided hair and a man of straw anointed my afflictions. They were on a pilgrimage to solicit favor from a high priest of sorcery sovereign in a glistening green city. The girl and her familiar wished only to return to the farm where her quilt and sock dolls waited. The straw man sought a brain as the dull witted are sacrificed to petty appetites. I wanted to manage and sort the cluster of moods I could not name or harness. A congenial lion joined us hoping to recover valiance. Man of tin, man of straw, glorious beast, air nymph and consort, we assassinated a crone who could work rough magic in exchange for the wizard's help. When I came back to the cottage, my father was gone. I could not say where. I await him still. At dusk, there is only the tea kettle, owl cry, and my furious, thumping heart. <laughs>